Hello, how are you? Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Victor and in this video I'm gonna share with you a few WordPress services that you can offer as a freelance web developer. Because when I just became a freelance web developer, I was building websites. And that's it. I was just building them and just leaving them like that, you know? And that was crazy because you know what? Whenever there was something wrong with the website, the client was doing what? They were calling a guy. You know who, who that guy was? That was me. And they were calling me and they were like, Hey, Victor, there's an error on my website. Something is not working. My slider is not working. My buttons are not working. And guess what? Victor had to stop everything he was doing and he was running home because he didn't have his laptop with him all the time. And then he was digging into that website to figure out what's going on and what's wrong and Victor was spending about two or three hours sometimes even more to fix the problem and guess what all that stuff was for free Jesus Christ I remember those times Jesus Christ all right guys maybe you offer this kind of services to your clients already but if you don't please do so because you're it's not just about your time it's about your skills about your expertise about your time that you already spent to improve your skills and to become that valuable in the marketplace so these services i'm talking about are the following uh, whenever you build a website you charge them for the website and then you can charge them you can offer them hosting service you can offer them backups you can offer them wordpress updates you can offer them wordpress security services and i'm gonna go through each of them and talk a little bit about about each of these ones so let's say let's get the, the, the hosting so as I already said, you know, I was building the website and the client was happy and I was hosting the website somewhere in the shared hosting and that was it. And I was, I was leaving money on the table because each website, doesn't matter, any website you build, they will need hosting. So if you have, if you have to have your hosting, you, you, let's say, for example, you have a shared hosting for like 30 bucks. No, let's say even 20 bucks a month, you know, you, you get 20 bucks a month hosting a new you build a website and a simple website you can charge for just a, a new website, a simple new website. If it's not huge, it's just for a small business. You can charge about 10 bucks a, uh, a month, you know. And if you have four clients who, who are paying you 10 bucks a month, that's 40 bucks. And then you pay 20 bucks for your hosting and you have 20 bucks income, right? So that's better for you. And it's better for your client because if there's something wrong with the hosting, uh, wherever they are, their website is hosted, if it's not hosted with you, then if the website is slow, they're going to call you and you have to spend time. You know, you have to explain them to respond to them and, on, and, and, you, have to, and you have to offer them hosting. You have to do your best to put it. You also have uh, control. You control the environment. You know, you control the PHP versions. If uh, you control the Apache, you control everything. You, can, you control the resources you can see how much each website is uh, using from your bandwidth from your cpu from your ram all these resources that you have on your shared hosting so this is better for you you can um uh, if the website is growing you can charge more and stuff like that so that's also that's good for the client and it's good for you because you keep an eye on their website the next service is wordpress update and i didn't put here i forgot to add here the wordpress core updates because that's also so important uh, you have here theme updates and plugins updates uh, and uh, I remember uh, a few clients like they were telling me a few clients that had some knowledge on how to manage a WordPress website they were like hey Victor you don't do anything here it's just you just click this button here update now button and there's like a circle circling and then a, a green uh, notification is popping up and it's saying your plugin was updated and everything is good and you don't do anything here you know that was like okay but like there is more than just click on that button. I'm, 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 you know, you have to you have to educate your clients because there is for for real. There is more than just clicking on that update now button. Whenever you click on that button, if and if there is something going, if something wrong is going on, you get the full responsibility of the error that's popping up on the website. You know, you get full responsibility and you fix it because you have to fix it. You know. Uh, sometimes they're like theme updates and you update the theme and then on the front end they're like new JavaScript libraries that the theme the new version the new theme version is using and there's a conflict in JavaScript and some of your slides don't work or some of your buttons are like you have functionality I don't know whatever you can have there are some forms 
if you if you have a UI uh, form validation and stuff like that, like all this kind of stuff can break, you know. Uh, even plugins, we had the, like conflict in between plugins and stuff like that. So all this kind of stuff, you get a responsibility, you know. You have to get paid for that because you know, if something is going, not, if something wrong is gonna go uh, on the website, they will still call you and you'll have to fix it. So you can charge them for this, you can offer them this service and charge them for this service. Don't do this for free. Do not do this for free, please. <laughs> okay, the next one is WordPress security. And uh, beside the WordPress update, uh, what you can offer WordPress security, you can offer them a secure server platform. Because even if you have a shared hosting, because I was I was giving you an example about shared hosting. If you have a shared hosting, um, you have on the shared hosting a few um, apps that you use. There is uh, the FTP. You have far you have firewalls there, and you have to charge. Uh, for the security because you pay for that hosting you pay for this stuff too so you have to charge your client as well um, you have SSL certificates on uh, because like what I do now I have a, a dedicated server you know I have a dedicated server um, and I have free SSL kind of like the SSL certificates are included in my package but I charge separately uh, i charge my clients sometimes I, I give it for free kind of like you know just to, to gain more clients just to give them like uh something so so they can want to host with me um but you can charge separately for ssl you can also charge for wordpress security um which is like you, there are different ways on how to secure their uh, login form like there are plugins for secure your login form for secure your website against spam because that's also wordpress security uh, you can charge for that kind of stuff too. You can have if the website is huge and they have um, a theme that's managing the website administrators. And if you want to keep track of each action, you have to have a, um, um, uh, what that was like a log system or something on the website. That's also part of the security. You have to have that in, in place too. And you can charge for this kind of stuff too. And if they don't want to do it, you have to educate and explain to your clients why they need this kind of stuff. And this is important. You have to talk to your clients. You have to build that relationship. Um, and here are some prices because I was I was struggling with prices at the beginning. I didn't know how much I could charge. And uh, you know, over the years, I came up with this um, uh, prices. Like it's an average. You know, it's not just a fixed price because it depends on the client. It depends on the project and stuff like that. But if the website you, you, you build for your client is under $2,000, you can charge an average of 49 bucks a month. You know, uh, if the website was in between $2,000 and $3,500, you can charge an average of $69 a month. If, if the website was more expensive than $3,500, uh, uh, then you can charge $100 a month or even more. You know, you can charge more if the website is a huge e-commerce and they have hundreds and hundreds of products and they have so many functionalities on the website and you have to take care of all this kind of stuff you have to charge you can charge more i mean it depends on what kind of um, how big the website is but uh, usually like the websites um uh, most of the websites you'll you'll probably get like this is the main usually this kind of projects i get you know it's like um, that's how much i charge for maintenance and stuff like that you can also offer seo and things like that but i didn't really I want to get into that kind of stuff because that's kind of different from my web development um so um yeah that's kind of all i wanted to share with you guys i hope this uh, was useful for you i know that some of you guys are probably offering these services but uh i was doing a huge mistake because i was offering this kind of stuff for free when i just started so if you if you do the same thing if you offer it for free please do not do it at least charge them at least at least a ten dollars a month or something you know just something just start something so you have this um um uh, you, you get used to it you know at least your client knows that they are paying for for some kind of a security service or something like that you can also explain them that the website is also it's like a car because they probably have a car your, your client probably has has a car you know they have a car and you explain your car you have to do maintenance on your car. You have to replace the brake pads. You have to change oil. You have to um, replace the air filter. You have to add windshield. You have to wash your car. You have to replace your tires whenever they get bad. You know, and all this kind of stuff. The website is the same thing. If you miss these updates for a few years, 
uh, your website may crash because there's like WordPress updates and WordPress themes and the PHP version is changing and Apache is changing and if you don't keep up with the new technologies, you know, the website get, may, may, be, may get slow and slow and slow until one day, you know, there's going to be an error uh, when the hosting provider is going to update the PHP version uh, uh, automatically, you know, and the website's going to crash. So you want to keep in mind, uh, you want to explain your clients, you know, just talk to them, educate your clients. And uh, for sure, they will want to get this kind of services because they work and it works. It works. And uh, whenever people understand what they're paying for, they will pay for it if it's valuable to them. So that's it, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel. Leave a few comments what you like, what you didn't like. Uh, let me know if I... if you, Okay, so, um, you know, here I forgot about backups. You can also offer backups. I didn't put them. I didn't have a, a separate slide for this. But backups, basic, uh, basically, you can... If the website is so big, you know, it's, it's an e-commerce with hundreds of... Uh, uh, sales per day and they have like thousands of dollars a day or something you know just an example and if there's a crash you can ask your you can ask your client how often do you want me to do backups on your website because if there's a crash and, the, and if the website is down is down for about one or two hours they can lose thousands of dollars and they will pay for for backups so you can offer backups App backups are very good it's a good service you can provide for your clients uh, and um, yep, that was it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you if you offer uh, some other kind of services to your clients, so uh, we all can learn from you. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, and I will see you in the next video.